Hey, this is Josh Gwynn back with another online business training and in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to update your WordPress site. So a lot of you probably know how to do this, but in case some of you don't, um, if you are a business and your website was built in WordPress, then um, you chances are you need to update your site on a regular basis and what will happen is WordPress will come out with new updates and plugins will come out with new updates and you will need to go into your log into your dashboard and periodically update uh, these plugins and even possibly even the version of WordPress that you have. And what this does is it keeps your site safe from uh, you know out of date plugins and out of date versions of WordPress are susceptible to getting hacks or getting malware or viruses on your site. And I have personally dealt with a situation where uh, my entire hosting account had uh, a significant amount of uh, malware and viruses within the files of my site and they got in through WordPress and um, now I have security measures in place to prevent this so it was actually a great learning opportunity or learning experience but um, the person that handled the uh, the cleaning of all of these of sites on, Word, on um, Bluehost and WordPress uh, told me that I was the second highest that was the second highest number of infected files that he had ever seen cl after cleaning thousands and thousands of sites. So I was in second place with that record. I would have liked to have had the first place record, but didn't get it. But anyway, um, if you have a WordPress site, and a lot of business websites are built on WordPress, um, you're going to need to log into your dashboard and, uh, and, and update your site periodically. The way you do that is to go to your site name, um, whatever it is, .com forward slash WP admin. And that is going to bring you to the login page where you would type in your login credentials. So when your site was built, um, this is the, uh, the admin username and password that they created for you. So once you log into your site, um, you're going to come to your dashboard, which looks like this. If you have any updates on your site, you will see a, a little number by updates. And if you see a bunch, then the site has not been updated in a while. So um, what you want to do is when you do see updates, that means a plugin in this case, see the number one by the plugin, has an update. And so click on updates. And what you want to do is um, select the plugins. If there's more than one, you'll see a bunch down here. But in this case, there's only one. So, but you could click select all and click update plugins, and it's going to update your plugins for you. And you can do more than one. You can do multiple at a time. Um, but periodically, just come in here and check this and make sure your plugins are up to date. And then once your plugins are up to date, when you go back to your dashboard, you'll see that there are no there's no little orange circle with a number in it by updates and so your this means your site is up to date so periodically you'll need to do this uh, if you have a WordPress site so I hope that helps you guys um, check out my website at joshgwen.com for more online business training and articles on uh, online business and social media marketing thanks for watching